Hello, sweet friends. We had an unusually cool and rainy start to June, which really seemed to slow down everyone and thing. For the last couple of solar cycles, I've been lucky enough to follow the energies that each season offers, and I've found that life flows much more gracefully when I do. Anticipated time inside offered the space for a different kind of creativity, some of which I got to channel into unique birthday gifts for dear ones. I love giving handmade gifts, but regardless, something I always enjoy is sprinkling a bit of last season's flowers and herbs upon whatever I'm wrapping. dimension of color and aroma that will then greet the recipient upon opening. garden and all of its plants have, for the most part, been flourishing, getting to drink as much as they like. But unlike in years past, many of the heat-loving medicinals and vegetables have been timidly waiting to spring forth. I think this is such a beautiful example of how we experience life. Our environment, paired with our own unique qualities and past, can yield a number of outcomes and it's part of our process to find the silver lining in a given situation, no matter how great or small it may be.
After finally receiving a break in the weather, my dearest friend MJ and I made a visit to Detroit's prominent Eastern Market. Detroit is an artist's and art lover's paradise when it comes to canvas possibilities. And the surrounding vicinity of the market is particularly rich in murals and street art. Founded in the 1800s, Eastern Market is one of the largest open-air markets in the nation with over 225 vendors connecting with thousands of visitors in a single day. You can find almost everything here. Delicious food, fresh local produce, plants, flowers, local artists, music, beautiful people, and so much more. As a nonprofit, it is their mission to continually enrich the Detroit community, nourishing a healthier, wealthier, and happier city. Both MJ and I are crazy about plants. Do you know what these are? No. Needless to say, we had a lot of fun swooning over all of them. Oh my gosh, there are flowers. Oh my gosh, I'm growing these. I don't know if they're gonna produce, but these little guys. Aren't they fun? Yeah. They love this. Nature loves this. That will actually dry out naturally. You could put that in a vase as is. Right. You don't have to put it in water and it'll dry and stay. Dry and stay like that? King Protea. That was a good market day. What? Pigeons. <laughs> pigeons. Oh my gosh. Get out of here, pigeons. Smells so good. Okay, so I'm back. That was a really fun little outing this morning. I enjoyed that a lot. I hope you did too. Uh, it was really nice getting to see my best friend, MJ. So I have here Goto Cola. Uh, the scientific name is Centella Asiatica. And uh, some know her as Brahmi. It's a shared common name with, um, with another similar plant, but she's part of the APACE family. And this is a wonderful, wonderful traditional Ayurvedic medicine. It is uh, sattvic and rasayana, so it really just brings about these beautiful uh, love and heartfelt qualities. But it's also really good for your brain and mental clarity. Interestingly enough, it kind of looks a little bit like the shape of a brain. It's like the doctrine of signatures where you take clues from the way something looks. You gain knowledge about uh, its, its properties. So um, it does well in, in zone seven and up. We're in six here, so I'm going to do some, some division later on in the year. Um, it's, it's like a runner, so it's, it spreads like, like strawberries do. It's really, really easy to propagate just through division. So um, I'm gonna put it outside for the first time in the new raised garden bed, and uh, I'm really excited to see how it does out here. Um, it likes well-drained, very moist soil. Loves, loves to drink lots of water. It just needs to be well-drained. Um, so like adding like a little bit of like sand or um, perlite. To your, to your medium will help the drainage, um, that way it doesn't rot. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get her planted and 
she'll be really happy. So we usually get some really good medicine. Um, she's wonderful in tea form and um, you can just eat the leaves straight also, but there aren't very many right now, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna eat any of her fresh just yet. Um, so, yeah. Plant away for me. Hmm? I think I'm just gonna plant, oh, look at this little baby. Oh my goodness. That, I, that's not a runner, that's like a reseed. That's so cool. It's really, really difficult to grow this stuff from seed. Some things are just prolific at starting from seed. This is not one of those plants. Um, so that's so cool. Hey, little buddy. So this little guy is so tiny. I think I'll put it in with, um, with the other little small starts that um, are still kind of hanging out. And the little insects are already coming over to say hello. Coca-Cola is actually very spready, so it's it's just gonna like it's gonna flush up and this whole hopefully anyway um, this, this is all gonna be like super lush with Coca-Cola medicine soon. These little spearmints I got. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. I wish you could smell them. Warmer days and rain were soon to return, and with them, the thunder and lightning came, holding the space to pause and create. the most spectacular skies here because we're so close to the, the, the lake and the water, it, you know, the light just reflects off of it and just, oh. sticking around to the end of the video to watch this beautiful sunset with me and uh, until next time.